you've never been in a Tesla before. Never. Yeah, this is awesome. Man. Do they have Teslas in the UK? I'm sure they're yeah, over there. I don't know if they've got these ones over there, but they've definitely got the uh, dual motor they ones. They don't. Definitely don't have minivan Teslas. <laughs> no, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been in some pretty quick cars, but the, that instant torque, like the linear power, is insane. All right, letting Matt drive the Platacy. <laughs> I'm scared, dude. <laughs> oh. Guys, we got a 2JZ Civic update for you guys. This thing's been on the lift for a couple weeks now. Wise has been working on getting the sheet metal done. A lot of tedious work, so he has just been making slow and steady progress, taking his time, making everything right. And I think we left off last where he was kind of getting some of this firewall done, but he got the firewall sheet metal all done up. Got a nice little plate up here for the dash. We got the engine and transmission resting back in this thing because he started to work on the floor and making a whole under tray for this thing. You guys look right over here got that unit knocked out just don't look too close all right you, you know your boy ain't a sheet metal worker by trade all right hey, well he's about to be after this <laughs> one but we got this big one piece under tray for the 2j mr2 we're gonna go ahead and put this thing up in the air and, and uh, mr2 did i call it an mr2 <laughs> 2j civic, 2J civic. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and get this thing up in the air and get this thing test fitted on there because he made this to fit around the 2j oil pan and this will be our catch pan if you know we lose a motor or anything like that we'll have some pig mat in here and this will contain any fluids if we have an engine failure plus it'll help tremendously with the aerodynamics underneath the car because we're trying to flat bottom as much of this car as we possibly can and uh yeah we'll show you some of the floor work that he's done and everything once we get it up on the lift here we'll go ahead and put it up in the air and get her all zeus clipped in just front ones here Turns on there? Yeah, quarter turn fasteners, and what's nice is these are the retained ones, so they, you don't have to worry about losing them. But stay with the panel when it comes off. Makes it nice and easy. So I need more up here too, eventually. Yep. So the front's not quite done yet. Um, I just left it long because we're gonna have to build out the front of the car. You know, we don't know what's gonna end up here, so. I just left it long. I can work around it later and finish attaching it once we build out the front of the car here with, you know, fuel cell, intercooler, all that stuff. So for now, it just comes up to the front of the chassis. It'll get a couple more clips up here, more than likely. And then another thing we're gonna be adding is uh, side pans to it. So that's something that's gonna be added later. Uh, we can actually lower it down a little bit and I'll show you guys more of that. So we got our lower down. You can see how close that pan comes to the under tray there, but there's plenty of clearance. Just has that nice little dip, just enough to accommodate the 2J inside of there. So that came yeah. out pretty sweet. We wanted to keep it as high as we could so that when Kyle decides to wheelie this poor thing, it doesn't hit the oil pan. <laughs> hopefully. So, hopefully not, but you never know. Um, but like I had mentioned a minute ago, the they were gonna add sides to this. So these will come in here uh, at a later date once all this is built out. And these will kind of just match this contour right here. 
and it'll help direct all the fluid down into that tray so it can't just go off the side there. So we'll build those out once we're done with like the turbo manifold and stuff. So once we have everything in place so that we're not trying to work around this, we'll build these around the more critical parts. So that's about it for the drip tray. Pretty good, pretty solid. Lots of time into that one. Yep, definitely. Uh, you know, when you don't do something like that every day, it takes three times as long to do it. So oh, that's a big sheet metal guy now. No, I'm not. <laughs> I hate sheet metal with a passion, man. You can see inside of here, got all the sheet metal work just about done. We have a floor goes up under the transmission. We have a firewall, so that is looking really good. And then Wyatt also redid some stuff back here. So the original way they put this together was not the strongest way they could have done it. Uh, when you actually grab on the parachute mount, it would kind of flex the Civic shell. It was relying on the rigidity of the Civic itself to like kind of support it, which we want it to be more based on the chassis here. And the shell is just kind of like a skin on the outside of the car. So we ended up unbolting the whole Civic body and why it chopped the back of this off and redid all of this going to a new parachute mount back here. We're gonna have twin shoots off of the back of this thing because we do plan on it going hopefully 200 mile an hour one day. So we're gonna need twin shoots. So we're planning on that, but he did an awesome job getting these new thicker Kamali bars back here. And he also just made a ton of room because the way they ran stuff back here was a little like hard to work on and yeah, not the greatest. Yeah, well, it was good work. It was just, it didn't leave much room to service anything like getting to the shocks was almost impossible and there's just a lot of bars that interfered with stuff so we tried to make it a lot simpler and also much stronger uh, we've seen parachute mounts rip off before so doing this was in order to avoid that you know at 200 miles an hour you lose both your chutes it'd be a real unfortunate day so yeah but now she's on there she's nice and stout go ahead go on there. you got it give the old girl a little wheel <laughs> he's good to go boys yeah, and, and also just made the whole rear of the car a lot more rigid. You know, we added these mounts back here, it's mounted back here into the chassis, so it'll do a lot better holding the car skin and also supporting the parachutes when they deploy. So, yeah, he was just redoing a little bit on the tubs back here. He's redoing some of the sheet metal that covers this stuff up. So these were the tubs that came with it. Uh, just redoing some of the stuff around those guys. He just has to finish up this side, and then the passenger side, and then whatever sheet metal is left back here, and then. Pretty much done with the sheet metal side of things, all that tedious stuff. We do plan on having a fuel cell back here because we do want to drag and drive the car. So we're thinking we might make some like skinny fuel cell that will go down in here. So this might stay open a little bit until we're for sure what we're doing for that. We'll probably have some sort of burn down tank and catch cam back here. There's lots of planning that have gone into this, but it's getting really close with all of the chassis and sheet metal stuff. We can finally start getting some stuff onto the engine and start seeing how we want to do the turbo kit and go from there. Yeah, the fun stuff, not this tedious, boring work. So yeah. I'm looking forward to getting this done and getting wrenching on that stuff. Are you doubting me? I have some doubts. Have you not seen the video? No. Oh, dude, he clean took it in half. Like well, you're gonna be holding it and then just top of the banana, banana gonna fall yeah, around? Yeah, it's gonna fall off. All right guys, so four years ago, Matt was down here and I cut a banana in half with a playing card and I haven't done it since he was here. Showed up it reminded me of it so i feel like this is our tradition you know we're just starting a tradition every time he comes down i gotta cut a banana and half the playing card <laughs> to make sure i still got it so we went and got a deck of cards from walmart i got 52 attempts here plus probably some jokers we'll see if we can get it hopefully not see your hands guarded by appeal so you're good matt's worried about his hand getting cut but i told him <laughs> it won't cut your hand it'll just leave like a really dark red line i'll give you uh, ten dollars if you draw blood <laughs> all right ready? I'll just, we can just try to get it all in one go and I'll just edit all the attempts. I don't, I have no idea how long this will take me. <laughs> miss? You've been practicing this. No, I haven't at all, honestly. Yeah, I can't even, they're going so fast, I can't even see them coming past. Oh! <laughs> I nicked it. <laughs> no, you did like half of it then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got him! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that kind of cheated though, because it knocked it over. <laughs> yeah, dude, but it's a pretty well cut. I'm gonna say it's a pretty solid cut. 
Not bad. Good, what good. was that, like 10 attempts? That wasn't bad, yeah, like 10, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> that went right through the peel. Did like get me a bit though. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, there it there is. That was pretty clean. <laughs> well guys, UPS just showed up and we got a part in for the 2J Civic here. Very fancy piece inside this box. This came all the way from Qatar. Um, it is a full billet intake manifold and it comes from SMS, Smart Machining Solutions. They make a whole bunch of intake manifolds for all sorts of different vehicles and they do a lot of billet machine work and I'm really excited to get this thing into the car. So the main reason we went with this exact one is we'll show you once we get it unboxed, but this has two separate fuel rails and we're going to need that if we plan on drag and driving the Civic in the future because our plan is to use two different fuel systems. One rail will have methanol and the other will have pump gas. We'll get into more of that later, but let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Oh nice, it looks like it does come with the rails. Nice, let me open those while you get that out of there. Yeah. Got the twin fuel rails. Yeah. Sick. Got the hardware. Got a little piece of aluminum for something. <laughs> Not uh, sure what that's for. Probably spacers for the rails, depending oh, on the yeah. projector height. Yes. Like yeah, this. probably cut it. Dang. Big fancy dude. Polish these guys up a little bit, but look at all that machine work there. That's fancy. Oh, nice. Oh yeah. Flow all the fuel. Get this sucker on wrapped. I've never had an intake manifold so big on the channel. <laughs> I used all these four cylinders. That or one is nice, honestly. Yeah. Like I don't think we've ever had a fillet intake. No, not even for the K-series stuff. Yeah. This is our, I think this is our first full billet intake we've ever had. Jeez, and he's scuffing it. <laughs> Look at that thing, boys. Dude, what a unit. That is sick. That is really sick. SMS. That is one fancy unit right there. Yeah, that's badass. So like Kyle was saying, we did the two rails to run two different fuel systems. And another thing that I really like about this one is both rails are on top. Unlike a lot of them, they'll have a rail underneath and one on top and they make it really hard to service. So they're actually like one of the only people that offer two rails up top and uh, looks like a super nice piece. So. so most of the manifolds, they have the single rail and they have twin injector like side by side. And that would just make things really complicated for us as far as like setting up return systems and we'd have to be taking lines on and off in between drag racing and driving that are doing ball valves and we've had there we've seen others experience failures with their ball valves and not working right and blow up motors because of it so yeah we didn't want any of that headache so the thought here is we'll have the two rails damn that looks sick we'll have our two rails on there and one system will be for straight methanol and then the other will be pump gas each will be its own enclosed fuel system and we can go track to track we can just pull right in switch our tune up put it on methanol we might just have to like take a belt off the mechanical pump or something if we put yeah. a mechanical pump on this thing but it'll be super simple and we're not switching lines messing with ball valves and dealing with all kinds of crap yeah sms too they also they put all their de designs from cad like into a fluid like, like a simulator dynamics yeah. simulator and they just try to design these to have the best possible airflow in and out of them. They make K-Series ones as well. And uh, yeah, they really put some thought and engineering in making these. It's not just a big fancy looking piece. It actually is very functional. So this is the uh, throttle blade we got for this thing. This is actually sent to us a few months back, almost actually a year ago, I wanna yeah. say. It was when we announced we were going billet block for the K-Series. Ross Machine actually reached out and wanted us to put this on that when we were kind of going and re or going back through it and redoing everything. On the MR2. Yeah. Um, but we never ended up making the change just because we never had problems with that one on there. But it actually ended up working out perfect because when we reached out to SMS here, they were like, what throttle body do you have? And we'll just give you guys the adapter to run what you have. And this is a super nice unit. So we're gonna put it to use on the 2J Civic. Yeah, they even got Booster Boys etched on there, the RMR logo. I was actually saving this originally for the NSX build when that came along, but yeah. It'll work perfect for the 2J Civic here. Yeah, it's been sitting. So super nice unit. A lot of guys run these. So 
I'm excited to use one for ourselves. Yep, I already got the correct adapter right there, so that guy will just go right on. Yeah, that's sweet. Orientate it however. This one takes the Mustang style throttle position sensor. Yep, much more robust than the K Series one. So that's the, yep. I think the biggest thing we fight is our K Series TPS sensors. So the Mustang style ones are really, seem to be really solid. So get that thing fitted up with some Fuel Tech 720 pound per hour injectors, boy. Yep. You ready to throw that on there, Matt? Oh yeah, dude. This is a nice piece. What is that made out of? You know, some aluminum, I think. Aluminum. Some He's aluminium. Right way. <laughs> aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. Some, definitely a nice trinket to go on here. That's for sure. <laughs> Get that puppy bolted on. So we got the intake manifold on there just to make sure it's not going to hit nothing. Looks like we should have plenty of space. Doesn't hit our front motor plate. Got the throttle body on there. Yeah, that looks good. We're not too sure what we're going to do for a turbo kit just yet. So this is actually an intercooler core I had that I bought originally for the hatch because I was about to go full send on the hatch. So I bought like a gnarly 1400 horsepower rated core for the hatch. But it actually might end up working out perfect for this thing. Our goal is to make this Civic as maintenance free as possible. Obviously there's gonna be maintenance at this level of racing, but anything we can do to avoid extra work like ice in an ice box, all that stuff, we're gonna to try to avoid all the typical stuff that comes with the race car. So having an air to air intercooler would be nice because we don't have to worry about it. We were also possibly talking about not running an intercooler at all since the car will be on methanol. There's a lot of instances where you don't even need an intercooler because of how well the methanol cools the air when it's going into the cylinder. But we're still researching on that. So there's a good chance we might end up throwing an intercooler on this thing. This would be a perfect core to do so. And we're working on getting a turbo for this thing figured out because right now the turbo that was meant to go on this car is currently on the MR2. And since we already upgraded turbos on the MR2, there's already some talks about just go ahead and upgrading the turbo on this thing so we just don't ever have power issues <laughs> in case we max out that turbo. Cause I mean, we're gonna try to send it on this thing. So once we fully decide on the turbo, which should, should be here soon, be able to get that on the way and we can start building out a manifold, seeing where everything needs to go. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at for right now. Lots to do. Yeah. You ready to build some intakes? Yeah, uh, might just look at getting some like billet ones done. Nah, um, nah, I got it. <laughs> three part series. Hey, there you everyone's go. complaining about there's not enough videos. If you want more videos, it's gonna be three videos of the same thing. <laughs> Three, three intercooler intake videos. All right, you guys have heard it here first. Yeah. One video will be the right side, then the left side, and then the pipes yep. for the grand finale. We'll make it four part actually, and then installing it. So, you know, you guys can look forward to that. A lot of content coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we still got a lot of work to do up here. We still got to build out all this framework in the front. The front of the car is actually all the way up here once the bumper's on it. So yeah, we'll have a lot really of room far. to package all that stuff, but. Yeah, it might look short, but this could literally be almost out to here. Yeah, and then we gotta figure out a radiator to go up front there as well, since this is gonna be a cool block, since we're gonna try and street drive this thing. Plus we gotta get a new steering rack, cause that thing's cooked. Yeah, not yeah. ideal. The Very shocks probably setup. need gone through. The brake rotors have a ton of surface rust on them, cause it hasn't moved in years. Yep, just going through every bit of it when you're going when you're gonna go the speeds that we plan to, we can't overlook any of that stuff. So a lot of work still left ahead of us, but we're plugging away at it. A lot of stuff behind the scenes going on. Yep, slowly but surely, boys. She is coming along.